makeup fiends so it's been a long time since i've vlogged we are going to pick up the halogen oven because there was a fault with it but it was still under warranty so it's been a way of getting fixed i don't know if i'm in shot i hope i am trying out a little bit of a, a sort of a cute hairstyle kind of nashville inspired with the plait and everything millie is waiting to go aren't you millie are you waiting to go in the car is millie going in the car yes all right Ooh, yes that's right here's alec he's gonna open the door whoosh <laughs> right you need to lock the door so there we go and excuse the car <laughs> it's a little bit messy i have got revlon provocateur marble today really really like it and Minnie's very excited. So it's a nice ride to Bourbon. Bourbon! Yes, so we need to pop in. To and Willie Mullins has got nine runners. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. We need to pop in and get some flying sauces for Tony. If you don't know what they are, I don't know if they sell them anywhere other than Morrison's. We haven't seen them anywhere else, but Tony loves the chocolate ones. Alec likes the banana ones. Uh, yep. Uh, yep. Yep. Here's Alec. Uh. <laughs> Gap. And mind the gap. Mind the gap. <laughs> so yes, um, and I like the vanilla ones, but I like to put icing sugar on them. A little naughty, but they taste really lovely. They're like little mini cakes. I'll have to show you them. Actually, I haven't dunked the vanilla or the chocolate ones yet. <gasps> you need to dunk them. Yeah, but the banana ones are very nice. Yeah. It brings out the flavour, doesn't it, once they get wet? Yes, it does. Definitely. The banana ones taste like those banana little foam sweets. Mm. Kind of like that synthetic banana taste. It's really nice. Yeah. I actually quite like them. Yeah, I do. Yeah. So we're going to get Alex and banana ones. And me and yeah. vanilla. <laughs> oh, Millie, just sit down. Where's your window, man? I'll window. open Millie's window. Which window? This one. What about that side? No. Millie, look out the window. I know, but that's next to the path, and I don't like the path one open. Uh, yeah. Millie likes to surf with her head out the window, like so. She can see everything. She puts her feet on the arm. Yes, so it's a really lovely day, actually. It's really, it is. It's sunny. Is it warm outside? Because I've really been out. It is warm outside. And in yeah. fact, earlier on, it was 16 degrees. 16 degrees. That's really high, isn't it? Well, the sky's it is really for blue. This time of year. For this time of year, it is. Oh, she missed the dog that was going past. But Alec points out all the dogs for it. So what I did my haul yesterday, I showed you this little swatchy of the lipstick, which is 24 hour elastic. Look at it. It wouldn't wash off last night. Oh, wow. <laughs> it would not wash off in the bath. And I can't get it to oh, wash off this morning. Oh. Oh, 
Meadows Arena. I don't know how they could dare call that little shack arena. It's a little tin hut. Never mind. <laughs> so, yes. Trouble. We'll leave it there. And we'll come back Because I think it used to be on on a Sunday and I used to get have to watch that with my mum and dad And I was just saying that they, they, they used to like Stairway to Heaven which Alex said Michael Landon, is it Michael Landon? Yep He was in Little House on the Prairie and he was in that And Bonanza Alright, well I don't know that either He was Little Joe, Little Joe Alright, okay, see, so, well I don't know these things When he was a young man But then I got to talking about how on a Saturday my weekend highlight when I was younger And I was just like was the A team that used to be on at five o'clock on a Saturday tea time. So we used to go out and do the grocery shopping and then come back and see that. And I used to love it. I like the A team. I was such a tomboy. <laughs> and I used to love Moonlight, which was Tuesday at nine o'clock. So I loved that as well. Bruce Willis was my first crush. Oh, okay. I absolutely love Bruce Willis, but I think it was because he was funny and cheeky as well. In the days when he had hair. Yeah, he had hair then and he wasn't so skinny. I don't fancy him now. Look at this with its head stuck out. Millie, Millie are you going to come out of the car? Millie, are you coming? Hi, Millie. Come. Come on. Hi. Whoosh. Oh, look at this. It's a funny little shaped shed. I want to be nosy. I want to see. Oh, well that's exciting. There's nothing in it. <laughs> Is that off a chimney? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's nice here. It's a long time since we've been down here. It was when we first got the halogen, which was nearly two years ago now. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> there she is. Oh. Yeah. Millie's having a good time. I don't want her to go down in this river though. There's a little river down here. So back there, we were looking at this shed that just basically had an old gate leaned against the front of it. I was showing you it. There's a guy over the road kind of shouting, can I help you? It's like, no. <laughs> We're looking and there's like mattresses dumped and broken bits of things in front. It's like, well, if it's that precious to you, put it somewhere else and lock it away, mate. It was just quite cheeky. <laughs> this is a public path and a public walkway. So no, you can't help me. I think it's none of your business. To put it politely. <laughs> And none of your fecking business if I'm going to be impolite because I don't use the F word. But I don't mind saying feck. <laughs> Hello, Millie. Oh, Millie. So full of joy. This is where the little river is. Oh. No. not really a river, it's a stream. It doesn't feel like, it's like, it's got a little nip in the air, but it feels quite nice. What does? Uh, it's the weather. Oh yeah. Oh look. No? Yeah, it's quite warm, isn't it? Yeah. 
Always people always wanting him at work. Such a popular boy. <laughs> so cute. Where's the river coming from? It's not, it's a stream. That's oh. not big enough to be a river. I said it's a river and I went, oh no actually. It's a stream, but, it's coming from somewhere. but it goes underground. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at it, it's so beautiful. Look at the colour of the sky. Love it. Oh here they go, running up the hill. Oh, look. Millie! Oh! <laughs> She's such a good girl. Go on, Mill. Here it comes. Yes, so we're gonna climb up the hill and get back to the car and catch up with you. So we're on the road again. Millie's been out. Tom's hanging out now. You had a good time, didn't you, Mill? She's gonna hang out the window. She likes to do. How far are we? Uh, three miles. Three miles, that's not long. No. So we're going to Andrew James to collect it. That's where we actually got it from. We bought it on eBay, but then we came and collected it from the factory. So we took it back there for repair. I can't remember what he said was wrong with it. What did he say? I can't remember now. I was just so excited that we're getting it back. We use it a lot because our oven was actually broken on our cooker. But the halogen's just really handy with it just being on the desk, on the desk, on the, on the kitchen top. It's just quite an easy thing. It's easy to clean and stuff. And I'm really excited to get it back. I'm going to have a chicken lattice tonight to uh -huh. celebrate. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking of that last night. Yeah. Chicken lattices when I was thinking about what we were going to have for dinner. Ooh. Not always to get back to back to the chicken lattice. Yeah, I love chicken lattice. We got them on offer. They were a pound. For a box of two, so that's 50 pence a lattice, and I absolutely love them. Birds I used to do them, and they were amazing, but then they stopped doing them. So, this is another brand, but we got a couple of boxes because they were on offer. And ever since I got them, I've been craving having one, and I couldn't because we've got the halogen. So, I'm definitely going to have that today with rice and veg. So, I'm excited about that. Do you want one? Shrug of shoulders, probably not. <laughs> You want to coincide the take with me coming in? Yeah. Or we could have it together. Yes, we could. About half night or whatever. I'll tell you when I'm set, setting up. Yeah, we could do that, couldn't yeah. we? So that's sometimes a little bit difficult. I might just have a sort of a little snack when Tony has her tea, because Tony likes her tea when she comes in from school. So I'll do Tony's tea and a little snack for me, and then I'll wait until you come in. You can have that. You could try the Pringles that I got today. What flavour are they? Cheese and chilli. Oh. What are they like then? Nice? Cheesy, but with a bite. Oh yeah. yeah. A bit of a hotness. A hotness. Yeah. It's not too spicy though. No. Don't no. burn your mouth. No. They're not like chilli flavoured Doritos. No. Which are just quite spicy. Do you think that's because they've got the cheese in that kind of calms the taste down? Yeah. yeah, it's quite solid. I will have to give them a go and have a little taste. Yeah. Morrison's we're gonna to have to do that tomorrow because our detour we're taking Millie for a little trot but we have got the halogen so very excited we'll be able to use it there is the cathedral in the distance there not that you can see it much for the trees we might get a better view down here so this is down the kind of like driving in here kind of reminds me a little bit of York you know when you come in like the little side streets of York where we park mm. sometimes just like the um, the townhouses and stuff like that kind of reminds me of York. There's a lot of students going backwards and forwards here because we just passed the university. And she's got lacrosse sticks. Yeah. I think I actually played that game. You played that game? I didn't. 
think they actually did that. Yeah. Well, so, Durham is a very old-fashioned sort of university, so I can imagine it. I wonder who they play against, though. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't go to Durham. I went to Sunderland. Which Which didn't university play is the best. Which didn't I play lacrosse in Hotel? No, I didn't play lacrosse in Sunderland. <laughs> Interesting little building here. There is the cathedral. Are you can just see it there. Just through the trees. Like a few, really. I like Durham. It's quite an interesting place. There's some lovely old buildings in Durham. There's the old place. There's the castle. I can't, I can't seem to see it because it's so bright. The castle. Yeah. Oh, that's right. So now, I'm making you dizzy, now we're just going to go and pick up Tony from school and then Alex has got to go and do another job and then he's going to be home for tea. Got excited. I'm gonna build it up again. Then, you know. <laughs> Six million dollar man. But really, it's just a halogen lid. Yes. <laughs> Job for me. It's very strange. But it's still nice to have it back though. And the handle would have been fixed as well. Because the handle was broken. <laughs> This is the park and ride. I don't know why you might be dressed in that, but that is the Durham Park and Ride. Ooh. Well, one of them. The final destination moment. I don't like parking behind trucks like that. It's even worse when there's trucks and they've got things chained on. It's like total final destination moment. It really does make you think that. Even Tony says that and she hasn't even seen the films. Last time we went to see Final Destination, the pictures you fell asleep. Boy. <laughs> it was not boring. <laughs> I think I looked at him ten minutes in the film and he was just asleep, so I just left him and let him sleep through it. But then again, I did feel like that in Drag Me to Hell, just one of the worst films I've ever seen at the pictures. But Alec really quite liked that one, didn't you? Well, yeah, because it was not too scary. <laughs> Alec doesn't like horror films. He spends most of his time either like this, with his eyes closed, or he turns his head and he looks the other way. It's quite amazing. And they make it another Saw film, you know. Yeah. Oh, that right? I don't know. Should we go? We've, we've seen most of them at the pictures, but Alec's not a huge fan of the Saw films because they're really just gratuitous gore. If I'm honest, a lot of it is quite gory, but I did quite like the story. However, now that he's gone, 
You having a nap? Uh huh. Tony. Millie, where's Tony? It's kind of energy drink. It's not a good advert for energy drinks. It's clutching his little energy drink. But he's asleep. He's so tired. Looking for Tony. Here comes Tony. Who's that? Here she is. <laughs> you fell asleep reading this can of energy drink. <laughs> Maybe you should have drank the energy drink <laughs> rather than head about it. How do you know what a good energy drink is? Emerge. That's what he's got. Oh, not trying to like, you know. We're not that we're advertising anything or plugging no, sorry. anything. We're not plugging. No, we're not. We're not advertising anything in particular. Yeah. No, I think you should open it and drink it. Can I share? I'll share with him if he wants. Should you really have it? You will bounce off the walls. Oh no no no! I had a bit of a friend and I was fine. You were fine because I know what you're like on caffeine. When Tony drinks coffee, twenty minutes later, woo, bouncing off the walls. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> Are we gonna let Alec have a nap? Well. We'll let him have five minutes and we'll wake him up and he can drink some energy drink before he goes and does his other job at Hatton. Why is another job? Yeah, he's got to go and do another job. Mm. So I think he needs a nap. We've had That's it. Drink it. We've had a little bit. Drink it up. Suck it up. Suck it up the whole can because we've drunk half. You drink the other half. Did you like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah it's very it. sweet. I've tried it before. Oh. How long have you been in the car, Tony? A while. We just let you have a 10 minute nap. Yeah. Mm. Jib, jib, jib. Jibby. Uh, what is it called? Drink your energy drink. G G GML. 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 Oh, yeah. Because we did have a GML. We had a GML. And it busted. Yes, it did. It broke. It lasted a while, though. It left just over a year, so it was out of warranty. Yes. This Andrew James is two years warranty. Yes. Cheaper in the first place. Yes. yes. GML was like this. Yeah, this one was cheaper than the JML. This was about four. And it's lasted longer than the JML did, but we do or did before. We didn't have we a we, it. We use it every day. And you get a spare bulb. Yeah, you get a spare bulb. I know, but with the JML one, we used it constantly though. Yeah, we did. But we do use this every day. It's like the George Foreman. It's our third, like, grill, health grill, because we use that every day. How many George Foremans have we had? Three. No, we had the just two. So three. We had one. We've only had two. Three. No. We had the black one when you arrived. Then we got the little silver what do you mean one. The black one when I arrived. When you moved in, we had a black George Foreman grill. 
Oh, then it went Melbourne. off and we bought a one from Sainsbury's which was silver and didn't last very long because it was rubbish and now we've got the purple one. Uh, I thought you were talking about Halogen's. Which we got when we got oh, engaged. I still think we have like, uh, I think we've only had two kettles. Because, no, three. Because I remember the purple one, and then we have that one that we where, have now. The, the black one. one. That one. The, the white one was a spare of my mum and dad, though. The black one we have now is just amazing because you know we make lots of cups, cups of tea. Yeah, Tony makes cups of tea, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I do. Tony is the I, master I also of tea. Make coffee. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but uh, sometimes I, I, I don't like put in like a little bit. I put in like a big spoonful of mountain. Yeah, she puts in enough coffee to make four cups of coffee. <laughs> yeah, I do. What do you mean? What's going on? Have you got a key for the door, Tony? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Are you taking us over the road? Oh. We are on it today. We're getting dropped off at the door. Well, because you've got a dog with you. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, Look, we've got a dog. It's a dog. You can't be having that cuss in the road. Oh, no. Mm, no, because I've got the halogen. She'd break for the border, wouldn't you, chop? Right, drink the rest of your energy drink now. Mm -hmm. It's drunk. drunk. There's a bit left, drink it. Drink it all. He needs to drink this energy drink because we've got to go and do this job. Okay? Ooh, Say buzzing. goodbye to everybody. What? <laughs> He's buzzing. I don't think you're buzzing. You're buzzing. I thought you said you were a buzzard. I could quite believe that, but you're not buzzing. Not Can buzzing. you put that window up, please, Tony? Yeah. Thanks, yeah. Hello, Harold. Have you been having a sleep? Here's your key, Tony. I'm going to introduce you to Mont. Montos. Montos. Montiago. Where's Montiago? Oh, he's lying in the sun. Hello, Monto. Oh, he's such a slow and steady beast. Oh, hi, Tony. Look at the waggy tail. He's a smelly dog, aren't you? No, we <laughs> just shook your head. So that's Monty. He's lovely. He's an American bulldog. Possibly a mix. But he's got a big head. And he lumbers about. Oh, Millie is so cute. Right, time to get the halogen out and put it back in its place. Right, so oh, I don't know if you can see me very well. <laughs> I'm back in the bedroom. I've just swilled the yard out with disinfectant. I like to do that once a week, it just keeps it nice and fresh. Obviously when you've got dogs and stuff, it's nice to keep it like that, so I've just done that. My breath. I've been running around since I got in, just doing various things, tidying, doing the dishes, swilling the yard, just kind of getting sorted. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to record a voiceover. So I've got all of the things that I need in my bedside drawer. Keep all my sort of wires and stuff in here because this is where I do all my editing. So wires, double adapter plug, a little packet of biscuits in case I get hungry while I'm editing, some wipes. Just all kind of things that you might need. So got my microphone and I'm now going to record. And this is what my editing suite looks like. So this is what I'm currently editing at the moment. Those are the files that are in the actual thing. So that's where I'm up to. I'm up to right at the end. And then there's this little blooper at the end. Which <laughs> I thought that was quite funny. <laughs> so I'm now going to record a voiceover for that. And that's it really. So that is where I'm going to leave you today. I'm not going to vlog anymore after this because then I've got to make Tony's tea. Then I've got to make our tea. Um, got to check my emails. I've got another video to edit. I've got some clothes to put away. Um, yeah, so I've got bits and pieces to do. So I'm going to leave you here. So thank you very much for watching as always. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I'm going to love and leave you and see you all soon. Bye.